Hey guys, check it out. We got the SH Figure Arts Guts Berserker Armor Heat of Passion. So yeah, the Heat of Passion, as you guys can see here, I like how they did the box, by the way. I like how it's actually the moonlight, you know, the bluish moonlight to it, which looks awesome. The artwork on it looks great. Man, you even have the symbol there on the box. It's pretty darn awesome nice looking box but before we open it up of course i want to show you guys what it looks like next to the other boxes that we have gotten so far because hey we just have to do it justice and plus like i said the artwork is pretty sweet so let's go and check that out okay guys this is what all three boxes looks next to each other as you guys can see is pretty cool having all three of them together now of course the theming here for the box you got the sunrise that is basically the dawn and you have guts there with the armor but not berserk mode of course and then you got griffin which pretty much symbolizes the light of day you know he looks like it's daytime in his artwork and of course you got the berserker armor that looks like it's dark at least that's how i like to look at it you know which is really awesome i wonder what casca's box is gonna be now everybody expected um the berserker armor box to be red and black but i'm pretty sure they went like hey we already went red and black with guts so and we went blue light blue with griffin let's go dark blue with the berserker armor which makes sense so that's pretty much all i have to say about the boxes the berserker armor box is a little bit bigger than guts box so that is good and obviously griffin's box is the biggest one because he has the horse so yeah enough talk let's go and open this baby up okay guys let's unbox this baby before we unbox it let's talk about this box like i said i like the artwork it looks great you can see that it has um, the logo here for the armor basically the design of the eyes which looks great um, here you can see the spine there him slashing down also has the eye logo there and here you can see it from the back basically you know showing you uh, the different heads and some of the poses of course and we got this iconic image here which looks pretty great oh yeah at the top here you can see that he does come with the cannon arm because that's pretty awesome that they did that now let's open this baby up i already cut the tape and boom here he is inside his little plastic coffin now i do want you to you guys this as you guys can see there is the Behelin in blue and it's crime basically which looks pretty awesome I love the artwork that they include with these guys and this is no exception so now let's go to the main event doesn't look like there's any tape here so I was way too easy honestly and a little bit of plastic here and there we go Ooh, the berserker armor i gotta say guys this guy is covered in blood it looks like or brownish color oh, very interesting right it has that brownish color to it hmm uh, one thing obviously is the lines by the way, the lines are from the manga. If you don't believe me, check this image out. Yeah, so you guys see there, it has the lines on it. So this is great. So let's remove this. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty darn solid, man. It has a bunch of detailing. So that's the figure. Of course, we have the different helmets here. It's one of them. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a better look, obviously. And of course, the Skull Knight helmet here. Which looks great. 
course, the two different faces, which we got is this one. You can see how he has his scars on it. And of course, we got the angry face here, which, as you guys can see here, has a little bit of the armor seeping through the skin, you know, taking over or being pushed back. Of course, we got the different chest parts that are gonna be paired off with the helmet. And of course, we got the extra legs. So these legs, as you guys can see, are already fully bent. So it's gonna give you more articulation options and hopefully these do not um, have problems staying on him. You can see there's where the ball joint goes. They look great. And of course, we got the different hands, but we're not interested in the normal hands. What we're interested in is um, this one. Which, as you guys can see here, is actually the canning hand, which is pretty awesome. This is something um, that is in the manga and in the anime. But in, when it comes to figure form, the only one that has done this before this one was the 301. 301 was actually the one that did this, and it's pretty awesome. And by the way, if you have that one, man, I envy you guys because I, I want to get that one. And I was dumb, and I didn't get it, and... Is probably the best Berserk figure there is out there, but obviously that's 12 inch scale, so I wouldn't be able to post this guy, post that guy with Link or any of my other characters. So here's Dragon Slayer, and this Dragon Slayer looks a little bit beat up, doesn't it? You can see here that it looks a little bit beat up there, and here as well, Deep is pointy. But I gotta say, this one feels a lot better than the other one that I have. And actually, this texture here actually feels rough. This feels rough. Doesn't feel um, like... It, it, this texture here feels a lot more like sandpaper. So, this one, it seems that they upgraded a little bit, which is interesting. Now, the last item that we have here, which is attached here to the back, the only thing that has tape. is the cape and I'm pretty sure it's the same one that we have already gotten yeah it looks the same let's see oh yeah pretty much the same has the wires inside it so you guys can see so pretty much the exact same cape and you can see that it has the wires here, and you can see them here. Still, pretty nice looking cape. Obviously better cape than the Figma one, uh, but it looks great. So yeah, um, one thing about these capes, maybe, um, you know, just as a little precaution. Try to uh, air them out, like open them. Leave them out in the open for a bit before you put on the figure because the paint from them might transfer to the figure. Obviously, uh, there's ways to clear that up. Um, I'll be making a video with uh, the Gundam marker remover, which is supposed to fix that stuff. So, but other than that, man, this thing is looking great. I cannot wait to pose it and compare it to the Figma one. So, how about we go and check it out? Okay guys, here you can see the armor of the package and just standing there. Looks great. By the way, the cape obviously does depends on your imagination is how good you're gonna make it look. Now I gotta say this armor looks really darn good. Obviously I have to compare with the Figma one, but I gotta say the metallic color eyes on this guy who really takes the cake they shine so nicely hopefully the camera is picking up really good which is awesome and like i said the cape is the same one but man first impressions with how this armor looks like man i'm really blown away by it it looks great and i didn't show you guys how you put the cape 
on it because it's pretty much the same thing you do with guts you know there's nothing special about putting the cape on it's the exact same thing so let's go and check him out next to the figma one okay guys this is pretty epic both of them together here comes the sh figure arts one as you guys can see here the armor looks great especially with those lines add so much detail and here is the figma one both of them just spinning around looks awesome. Of course, my Figma one, I upgraded it by using Guts Cape, the SH Figure Arts Cape, and it looks so much better now. Obviously, that big bulky cape was a problem, but I gotta say, both of them together like this looks great. And the Figma still holds up. I mean, the Figma still looks a lot bigger than the SH Figure Arts one does. Honestly, um, wow, it's actually really darn impressive the size difference between them uh and, and that's the thing they're supposed to be the exact same height like 6.2 and 6.2 inches here you can see um the stats for them of course and yeah i gotta say the figma one even the feet the feet is the big difference because the figma feet are like armor style where uh, while the ones for the SH figure arts looks a lot more their his feet look like a lot more uh flat on the top as you guys can see there it doesn't have the arches the ones that the figma one does have but gotta say the colors look great both of these armors look amazing honestly so I think if you want a cleaner look, you go with the Figma one. But if you want a more uniform look, a more realistic look, you go with the SA Trigger Arts one. Or you can do like me and go with both because you get the both of both, the best of both worlds, of course, which is great. So, I gotta say, this is gonna be pretty awesome. And let's see if the SA Trigger Arts can hold up to the Figma one because well this figma like i have said before this is my holy grail figmas i rarely take it out and i gotta say even with those metallic eyes that the sh figure arts one has i still think the eyes on the figma one just look a lot better especially from any angle and you don't have to wait for the light to catch it obviously bigger helmet um, a little bit of a bigger figure makes a little bit more of a difference but we'll have to wait and see when we check out the articulation so let's go and do that okay so let's check out the articulation here starting off with the head of course remember that depending on the head is how much articulation we're gonna get uh do remember that the back of the neck here has to be uh inserted inside the cape here so that's my hinder a little bit so we got up that much and down this much which is quite a lot we got left here and of course we move to the right which looks good of course the mouth does open up revealing that super black mouth in there the neck of course to get close it gotta say this works um the opening and closing of the mouth works a lot better than the figma one does and that is because this is a fully assembled head unlike the Figma one where you can actually take that face off and apply another one um, but let's check out the articulation let's move the cape out of the way so it doesn't get it there and here you can see the arms it goes this much yeah there you go that's how much arm articulation you're gonna get from it doing that all the way up butterfly joints of course and uh, yeah this just happened great good thing i caught that on camera the first sh figure arts that that happens to what the hell okay so the ball joint exploded oh, come on don't give me this shit there's, that is where the ball joint is. So we're supposed to enter from the back. That's very interesting. I never have had a figure do that before. 
So how am I supposed to get it, that in there? Okay guys, I was able to fix it. Uh, not that easy of a fix, but not that much of a problem. We just have to make it so. Uh, the ball joint here, the part here lines up with the other one. Okay, so let's get going. Of course, we got the butterfly joints for it. And this part here moves individually, which is great. And a lot of people are going to be really happy with that. Um, of course, you got the swivel here. And there you go. That's how much you're going to get of an elbow bent there. So remember that this part here might get in the way also. And this just happened again. Uh, whatever right so let's keep going through um, of course ball joint the wrist I have to say at least with this hand uh, the ball joint looks strong feels a lot safer we'll see how it does holding up dragon slayer of course and like I said it's this part here uh, this part as you guys can see there you just have to match it with the other and then it should be good but let's keep going Let's do the articulation here. So you guys can see there's a lot of back crunching to the top. And I like how the armor actually moves here. And of course, now the figure's completely falling apart because why not, right? So now that we got that, he can pretty much do the splits there. As you guys can see there. Remember that, um, the leg articulation when it comes to the knee. That's how much the leg is gonna go up. By the way, which is actually pretty. It's a lot. It's a lot. So when it comes to the knee, you're gonna get this much, which is nice. But remember, you do have the extra legs. I'm gonna show you guys how you put them on and that is gonna be how you're pretty much gonna do these type of poses with that which is gonna be a lot better um of course you got the ankles here which are actually pretty nice and of course you got the toe articulation which goes up and goes down and that's pretty much that does it for the articulation of course the cape articulation is some wire so you can just move it all around and do whatever you want so, so far, good, except for this part here. So, hopefully, I can fix that and it won't be a problem anymore. Okay, guys, so, how do you put the legs? This is the big thing. How will this work? So, according to the instructions, you're supposed to hold them off, actually, here. As you guys saw there, that came off. And that was easier said than done, right? That was a lot easier than I thought it was. You also have to take out the feet here. And now you're just going to attach the foot here. There it goes. And then this. Of course, the head falls off. I think I did this the wrong way. I think it's supposed to be. Um, let me see. It's supposed to be like that. Let me check the instructions. And yeah guys, they did the whole horrible thing of Hey, let's put the instructions on the side of the box here. I hate this. I hate this. I honestly, I, I hate that. I don't know why they do it. It's stupid. Just give me the little piece of paper. Which is a lot better. But wait, that's it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so take that out we pop this in I thought this was gonna be a lot easier honestly to do but nope this had not to do it like that and <clears throat> this is tough to get that this inside darn this is tough I, I thought it wasn't gonna be that tough but yeah now we have a problem here because normally what i would do would be like to push it down against something hard but the foot is getting in the way so let's remove it let's try again there we go okay 
that's there so if you have a problem putting it on just push it down and then attach this here and then we're gonna attach this part here and damn that's a lot of decalation that you're getting here there you go that's what it looks like it looks great it looks great now on it it looks great that looks awesome so that's how you put that on okay first thing we want to do here is obviously make the head now this is the one in between you know he's going sane or insane and this one is the one that has the black marks here so what do you do you just attach the heck here boom oh and by the way this part of the neck does have articulation which is pretty sweet you can see it there and then you just pop in the face and there you go this one is ready to be put into the body so now we have the headless black swordsman of course and now we're gonna put of course this now we start off by putting this part here on the chest remember this is gonna make the rest of the mouth the neck is not supposed to be removed by the way it's just the heads and you're just gonna be popping it in there and let me you know it can be a little bit tough at first you know what let's do it the other way around let's do it like this instead And there we go. And boom. There you go. The other head is there. And that's pretty much what you're going to do with all the other heads. I mean, it's pretty easy. Nothing too crazy. Nothing over complicated. That's just how it works. Here you guys can see them face to face. And the difference between them is a lot like like i said before the figma gives you that wider head with that pretty much really close to anime feel to it and it, it just gives you so much surface area that you can see so much more while the sh figure arts is smaller but it gives you more of a realistic slash manga style to it which is pretty awesome as well and these both look great from the sides obviously so let's open the mouse up and as you guys can see there I prefer how the SH Rare Arts does the mouth open um, because you can see the darkness you can see that detailing of the dark inside it unlike the Figma which does have um, the neck is supposed to resemble that but it doesn't have a lot of detailing on it and the colors doesn't really stand out even it being bigger so let's look at them from the front so as you guys can see there um, again they're slightly different but it, it's still cool how both of them are just look great like this with the mouths opening up and again the SH Figure Arts does have those metallic eyes, but the Figma eyes are just, I, I don't know, just the colors and how big they are and how the actual lines of the eyes go almost all the way down to the snout just makes it look so much better. Darn. <laughs> but remember, mine's the repaint. It's not the original release. So, um, you know there's probably less difference between the original release and that one but I just like how much the Figma one is a lot bigger and just looks great but that does it for the fully berserk head for both of them and yes I'll close their mouth so you can guys can see them with the mouth closed of course um, but man I'm preferring the Figma when it comes to this that's for sure okay those in between heads pretty darn nice but again i just feel like the figma one feels a lot more uniform and the sh figure artist one feels a little bit more over um one of the big things is that 
with the Figma one, you're going to be moving the head around and everything just like we're going to do with the SA Sugar Art. So you can do stuff like this. Um, I just feel like the Figma one, at least with the neck joint, it does a better job. I, I feel like there's a lot more emotion when it comes to posing it like this with the Figma one that what it does with the SH figure arts and I can't pinpoint if it's just the neck joint or how the armor looks or just the size difference but still these look pretty nice so you can see them here from the front and obviously the skin color of guts is one of the big difference of course the Figma one he's a lot lighter and well, I mean, no, in the, in the other way around. The SH Figure Arts one is a lot lighter. And in the Figma one, he's a lot darker. But in both of them, you know, you can see the eyes. You can see the mouth, obviously. Uh, the Figma one doesn't have the scars on him, on the chin and on the cheek. But I just feel like the Figma one has a smaller face than the SH Trigger Arts one and I don't know about the grinning and the teeth there I'll let you guys pick you know which one you think you guys think it looks better when it comes to that but at least with these two heads they look pretty pretty good again I go with the Figma on this one I think that's two out of three for the Figma right now um, let's see if SH Figure Arts can make up with it with the actual um, Sane Head, the Skull Knight Head. So let's go and check that out. Okay, the Sane Heads. And this is where SH Figure Arts does a better job. Yeah, because the head for the SH Figure Arts here looks a lot bigger, a lot more defined. And a lot more unified than the Figma one does. And that is because uh, the way the Figma did the, the armor. There's actually a little line here which is the divider. This one did the same but they went a little bit further. So it, you don't really see that line there. Um, and from the front. You guys can see there clearly. That. Because the SH Figure Arts is bigger, the head is bigger, you can see a lot more detailing of the face and a little bit more detailing on the armor. While the Figma one has more of a sunken look to it since it's smaller. And in this case, I prefer how the SH Figure Arts looks with the same head over the Figma one does. So that is pretty awesome. Like... I was expecting it, you know, I was expecting to like the Figma a little bit more, but no. And in this case, when you see them both here like this, is when you see like, oh, okay, so now they look around the same size. You know, now they look uh, a lot closer, at least when it comes to the height and the shape of the heads. But with all the other heads, the SH Figure Arts just looks way too small. For some reason, they made, you know, Gus' face be big, but the other two helmets just feel too small compared to the Figma one. So I'm guessing that's where they dropped the ball when it came to this guy. But overall, I think, um, like I said, if you want a more realistic manga look to it, Go with the SH Trigger Arts if you want a more anime look to him with obviously uh, better build quality. Since we saw the arm falling off earlier, go with the Figma one. That's my opinion on that. And I'm not going to touch on that until the end. So let's go and check out some poses because that's what you guys came here to see.
Okay guys, I know what you're thinking, Cyril. Why did you stop the poses? I have only three poses to do. That I wanted to do. Um, I didn't even get to 10. Why? This is why. Again, remember when the arm came off the peg there? Yeah. This problem is back. And the thing is that I have tried pretty much everything besides gluing it. And I cannot get the arm to rotate here. I just cannot get it to pose. And I've been working on this for hours now just to do one simple pose. And it's taken way too much time. Like this problem is so annoying and it's just horrible. I don't know how this past Bandai's quality control, but come on guys. Like this is not a cheap figure. This is a $103 figure. Okay? It is not cheap. So darn. I already contacted Hobby in Japan. I'm just waiting on them to tell me, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a replacement arm or heck, maybe I'll get a, f a fully replaced figure or um, they might just say, hey, we can't do anything and they'll just give me a refund. And honestly, I think I'm gonna take it. If they do offer me a refund, I think I'm gonna take it. This is just like, I have tried the tissue paper technique, I have tried the sticky tag one and nothing is working. This joint here does not want to stay it, and it's sad it's sad because i was really looking forward to this figure oh uh, oh yeah one thing yeah they fixed the wrist joint here so as you guys can see there it's solid there's no problem with it so yeah your sword won't be falling so that's a plus but this is not a plus and i did figure out that there's more articulation to this part here so you guys can see there so yeah I at least I figured something out but this thing like the one here is solid doesn't have any problems but this one doesn't want to stay together it, it just wants to come loose and it does and not able to do a lot of the poses of this guy is with what you guys think oh yeah the right arm if it was the left one then yeah it wouldn't be that much of a problem but it's the right arm and that's the thing so as of right now this review is pretty much cancelled yeah i don't think i'm gonna be able to get more poses of this figure right now um and I really don't want to post this review way too long because I, I, I have already liked it. this figure um, was in stock already at the 20th and then I had to wait until the 23rd I think it was or 22nd something like like that um, and then Hobbit in Japan took their sweet time of getting it to FedEx and I got it today and I don't like doing that because I know a lot of you guys who really want to see this these figures and man it just sucks it sucks that Bandai you know screwed so badly there and this happened with Knuckles as well so I don't know what's going on with these um, figure companies that for some reason their joints are not being that good so I don't know, maybe it's that, maybe it's just that I've gotten lucky and I haven't been exposed to these type of problems much. Um, but, darn, it shouldn't be happening. I know if it happened to me, I know somebody else is having this problem. And, like I said, I'll probably do a little bit of gluing after Hobbling Japan contacts me and they tell me, Hey, okay, Zero, um, yeah, go, we're gonna send you a replacement or something like that. Um, until then, I'm not really gonna do anything major to it. So, yeah guys, it, it's sad that this is the last uh, of the review because I, like I said, I had a bunch of poses planned and everything. And 
yeah it, it just hasn't been my day like uh, a lot of stuff has happened and it just hasn't been and yeah it sucks it sucks it, it, it really does so yeah bandai please fix your quality control like come on guys we're, we're paying 103 bucks for this guy like you know we we had the wrist problem with freaking guts and they fixed it with this one which I'm glad and I'm happy they did the really shiny faces with freaking Griffin which I'm okay with doesn't really bother me that much and that can be an easy fix with some top coating but come on this is a little bit too much Bandai that's a little bit too much for a figure like this so yeah guys that does it for my review uh, I, I hope um, you guys enjoyed it I know you guys want to see the poses and I, I, I too I too I do like I said I have 73 poses ready to go but no Bandai decided not to and so my recommendation here is don't buy this guy buy the one that doesn't have any of that shit yeah buy the Figma one especially if you can get this guy this guy isn't only older but he's cheaper he well was cheaper was 80 bucks at the time of the release and this guy has never felt me this guy has never had any problems and of course with the new cape who doesn't love that like yeah um figma won <laughs> but who won the berserk wars figma did i cannot wait for that skull night that is gonna be awesome so bandai get back to the drawing board and fix stuff up and again i'm gonna do a follow-up video once i get uh, my you know reply from having in japan and stuff might take a bit um hopefully they're able to fix this and then i'll do a bunch of poses with them but until now figma if you have the figma ones your investment is safe <laughs> it's safe so if you want a saw it i know if sod is gonna be good from sh figure arts but we'll see but figma is still the king here so see you guys next time